much like me, I assume that you have the problem where the game runs fine, but the audio is kind of janky. Let me show you what I mean. You can hear a couple things, but if you try to shoot your gun, nothing really happened. Whether it be 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second is the same problem. Sound crash fix workaround for any build. Some people say it works, other people say it don't work. People just don't really know. I downloaded it. The reason why most people don't know is because when you click on the README, you're introduced with this. The following README instructions might be confusing to some people as they don't really know what the hell they see even though it is clearly explained to them. Step one, place the crash fix executable and the batch file in the same folder. Okay, both of these files, same folder. Step two, edit the batch file. If you have no plus plus, you can use that instead as it's more easily readable. If not, you can just simply use the text editor. Step three, inside the text editor, replace the following. So your location of the file, wherever your shad PS4 folder might be, locate your user data and your shad PS4 user save data one, COSA, and then SPRJ to user data. The 10th one, just copy the path on that file, place it on the text editor. Make sure it's within the brackets as well. Do the same with the other one, the executable. You can easily search it by Shad PS4 and the Shad PS4 executable. Copy the path into the text editor. Step three, after you successfully have done all of that steps, just run the batch file, not the executable, and it should just say done. In your command prompt, it just said, if it says done, just hit escape and everything should be working. Once you escape out of it, grab your controller. Um, to make sure this truly works, I'm gonna go to cheats patch. I'm gonna try to run this at 60 frames per second. You can copy what I've done here. Skip intro, 30 frames, proper frame pacing, disable chromatic aberration, disable motion blur, disable HTTP request, 60 frames per second, no delta time, disables vsync, and resolution patch 900. I mean, you can go 1440p if you want as well. Uh -oh. Go to that, double click on the game. Press F11. It took longer there to load. Let's continue. So far, I, I'm noticing a little difference with the selecting. And that's it. That's how we fix Bloodborne sound crashing. It works. Not like before.
Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Peace.